Hey, what's up? You're watching Dave the Hearing Aid Guy. My name is Dave and I'm a hearing professional with plus 20 years of experience in fitting hearing aids. And today I'm going to have a look at the MD Hearing Volt Max hearing aids. And before I start, I have to say my first impression wasn't too good at all because the package when it arrived, it was uh, torn, it was ripped, it was obviously used. Um, the hearing aids were bigger than expected. There was a problem creating an account for the smartphone app. Then I contacted their support team and got the message that someone from customer care would contact me within 24 to 48 hours, which is way too long. So they managed to contact me after 12 hours with a standardized email. So first impression wasn't good at all. But uh, however, how the hearing aids work, and what I think of them is coming up, but before I go into detail, please like this video and subscribe to my channel so you won't miss any of my new videos. See the black and you Just as the king outside MD Hearing has been in business since 2009 selling hearing aids online. The Volt Max is currently their premium hearing aid. It's rechargeable and has Bluetooth on board. There's also a free smartphone app to adjust the hearing aid to your hearing loss. And that's where I had major problems because I couldn't sign up for an MD online account, which you need to use the app. So I texted the support team that I am having issues here. They told me I will get contact with customer support within 24 to 48 hours, which is honestly speaking way too long. So I told them it was urgent and well, for some reason the app worked after two hours. Don't know why and I got the email from the support team 12 hours later. So however, it worked and I was able to test the hearing aid but before i go into technical details let's just have a look at the hearing aids first so this is the package as it arrived does not look brand new but well let's see how it looks inside so come on okay comfort tips I'm curious how they will fit. Manual, quick start guide, and the hearing aids. Okay. Well, at least they're not too small. Kind of massive behind the ear devices. Okay. Charger. And the accessory box. Come on. Okay, charging manual, cleaning tips, charging cable, the wire, yeah, and the socket plug. Okay, so let's have a look at the hearing aids. We can see a behind the ear hearing aid. It's honestly pretty huge, even for a rechargeable hearing aid. Then this is a slim tube. It's not a receiver in the ear hearing aid, but you have a slim tube here, which is good if you have uh, plenty of earwax because it's easy to clean. We have an ear tip here, a retention, and of course here, one microphone opening. This is for adjusting the gain. This is probably for switching the hearing programs. The charging contacts are here. Well, okay. So if you need to clean the slim tube, you unscrew it here and you usually clean it with this wire here. Just stick it through. That's how you clean those devices. But 
just want to screw it on. Okay, but all in all, this is a pretty huge hearing aid and I'm curious how it will fit behind my ear. So as mentioned before, the Volt makes a pretty huge hearing aid compared to other brands rechargeable devices. So this hearing aid is three times the price of the Volt Max, but the Volt Max is three times the size and bigger is not always better. The good thing is that my ears are huge enough to cover the Volt Max, but with smaller ears these hearing aids will be visible. The hearing aids also don't sit too well behind my ear because the thin tube is a little bit long. So unfortunately MD hearing doesn't send different tube sizes with the hearing aids, but you can order them online. One thing to point out is this comfort tip as they call it. It's their kind of new slim tip and it's very comfortable to wear. It sits pretty good in my ear canal and that's something I really like. And if you are in need for a different dome size or a different dome style, well, unfortunately, they're also not included in the package, but you can still order them online. The Volt Max has four hearing programs. Adaptive, which is intended as all-around program, Quiet, Social, which focuses on conversations, and Restaurant. Before using the hearing aids, I strongly recommend to create a personal profile in the smartphone app which allows the hearing aids to adapt the hearing programs to your needs. The creation of the personal profile is what hearing aids do in in-situ audiometry, where your hearing gets tested with sounds over the hearing aids. It's not the gold standard, but it works pretty well. So this is important to adjust the Volt Max to your needs. My first impression of the sound quality was that the Volt Max sound way different than premium prescription hearing aids and that should not be surprising. Of course you hear more background noise, you get feedback, that's the whistling sound, you get feedback when you turn up the volume a lot and of course uh, speech and voices don't sound as clear as they do with premium prescription hearing aids that are fitted individually to a hearing to your hearing loss by a hearing healthcare professional but what they do pretty well is to help understand speech i was able to follow conversations and understand people talking to me they also worked fine outdoors when you switch to the right hearing program one downside for me is that you have to switch through the hearing programs manually either by pressing the button on the hearing aid or through the app the MD Hearing app connects to the Volt Max via Bluetooth. It lets you adjust the volume, switch through hearing programs, create a personal hearing profile and offers contacts to MD Hearing's support team. Direct streaming, like taking phone calls from your phone or listening to music, is not possible. So all in all, MD Hearing wants to offer an affordable alternative to prescription hearing aids. And honestly, they're pretty good for the price. I was able to follow conversations and use them in different sound environments. The smartphone app makes them easy to adjust and MD Hearing offers some kind of support. What I'm not too happy with is the size of the hearing aids. They are huge, even when compared to other rechargeable hearing aids. Well, the price of $700 per pair would be okay if the support would be faster and if the package would contain more accessories like tubes and ear domes in different sizes. So my conclusion is that the Volt Max is a good choice for people with mild to moderate hearing loss. You won't have the same sound quality like prescription hearing aids, but it's a good choice for people who want a better product than a PSAP and don't want to or can spend the money for individually programmed prescription hearing aids from a hearing healthcare professional. But what you should definitely have is a smartphone because you won't be able to stream phone calls directly into the hearing aids, but it's necessary to create a personal hearing profile to get the best hearing out of the Volt Max. As the hearing aids come with a 45 day trial period, you'll have enough time to try them out. 
So this was another episode of Dave the Hearing Aid Guy. Please drop your questions in the comment section below and don't forget to like and subscribe. See you next time. Bye.